Welcome back everyone to another Hero Double R video and today I have something new for all of you. I will be doing a full unboxing, assembly and review of the new VeloWave Ghost Series bike. I've always wanted an e-bike and I am very excited to share my first hand experience with all of you. Upon unboxing my e-bike I am greeted with a set of very detailed instructions on how to assemble and use the VeloWave e-bike. These directions are decorated with many pictures and diagrams on how to set up the bike. There are also video directions available on their website, but I'll be showing you all how I assemble the bike and I'll do my best to answer any questions you may have down in the comment section below. All the tools you will need are included to assemble the bike. I do recommend though getting a pair of snips or scissors though so you can cut all the zip ties that are holding the bike together. Unboxing is overall very straightforward and the e-bike is packaged very well. There was no damage at all during the shipping process, which was nice to see. The first step is to install the handlebars. This is done by picking up the bike and unscrewing the four 4mm Allen screws off the clamp, and then placing the handlebars onto the clamp and then reinstalling the four screws. In order to make sure that the handlebars are on the correct way, make sure you have the LCD screen on the left side of the handlebars. Next, I flip the bike over so the wheels are now in the air. Now it's time to install the front wheel. This is very straightforward. You just need to remove the packing spacers off the wheel, they screw right off, and make sure you cut the zip ties holding the spacer in between the brake pad. Now you can install the wheel. All you have to do is line up the brake rotor with the caliper and then rest the wheel onto the forks. Next you will take the axle and remove the spring and nut off the end of it. Slide it through making sure the clamp is on the brake caliper side. Once that is done, you can install the spring and nut on the other side. You will leave it just slightly snugged and then go ahead and finish the install by pushing down the clamp. This should be firm but not too much pressure. If it's too difficult to push down, then loosen the nut a little bit more and then it should push right in. Make sure the clamp is facing upwards up the fork towards the rotor. Next is installing the pedals. It's important you install them on the correct side. The pedals will be marked with either an R or an L, indicating right or left respectively. The pedals install easily by spinning onto the post and then snugging them up with a 15mm open end wrench which is included with the bike. Optionally, you can install the reflector for the back of the seat. This is easily done by lifting the clamp up and pulling the seat post from the frame of the bike and then slipping the reflector over it. You can then slide the post back down and tighten everything with a flathead screwdriver. My bike came with an optional headlight so I'll be installing it. All you have to do is remove the 5mm retaining screw above the wheel, then slip over the headlight and then reinstall the screw back on. Don't forget to plug in the headlight, I decided to loop mine around the fork to help keep it away from the front tire. And finally we will fully tighten the handlebars. Make sure everything is lined up perfectly and then slowly tighten everything in a crisscross pattern. Don't forget to snip off your keys from the cables. And now finally we can install the battery. Make sure the pins are at the bottom and carefully slip it into the bike and give it a firm push at the top to make sure it clicks in. You may need to insert the key and rotate it to make sure it fully locks into place. And now we are finally done. All that's left to do is remove all the protective plastic and then charge up the bike and we can go for our first ride. Oh, I actually did forget one more thing. You need to add air into the tires. I went with 25 PSI using my portable tire inflator. And now the most important part, we will charge up the battery until it's at 100%. This is easily done by plugging in the charger and the port is located on the left hand side of the bike and it's just a little rubber cover. Move it to the side and insert the charger and you are done. The LED light will turn red until it's fully charged, then it will turn green. And once that's done, all that's left is to ride it.
Okay guys, so now we're going to take the VeloWave bike on its maiden voyage. I have taken this bike up and down my driveway just to make sure it works. Everything seems pretty good, so without further ado guys, let's go ahead and uh, take a ride. First ride on the VeloWave. Now in order to turn it on, hopefully you guys can see this, you just hold this down for a few seconds. And it powers right up. And to operate it, these are, this is your front brake, this is more powerful, this is your rear brake. And here's your 7-speed um, gear selector. I have it currently on 3. That's only for when you're pedaling, not for the, the battery. And in order to use the electricity, you just press the thumb down. And here you go, just like that. <laughs> it, <laughs> it works pretty good, so... Um, Let's take it, let's just go right up here real quick. Do some off-roading. It's pretty good actually. <laughs> I've wanted a uh, electric bike for a while now. And mainly because I wanted to do things like this without pissing people off. I love riding dirt bikes, but the problem with dirt bikes is that everybody can hear you. Even with the most quietest bike and people get mad. But with this... I have pedals, so who can really complain? <laughs> this thing's pretty smooth, too. A little bit of a jump. Woo! <laughs> wow, this is fun. I feel like I'm in, uh, in Star Wars. This is awesome. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> you can pick up one of these for about $1,500, and, you know, for that price... I'm not sure what the competitors really are, but <laughs> kind of hard to have more fun for 1500 I mean, you can't buy a motorcycle for that much. Not a new one, at least. Um, and you can't ride dirt bikes really anywhere. Um, at least here in Massachusetts, that's where I live. Uh, you can't ride dirt bikes anywhere. There's like a few different spots you can go, but for the most part, they're heavily illegal pretty much everywhere. And people get so mad when you're riding one. In fact, I was in these woods back when I was about 20 years old, riding my uh, KLR a long time ago. And uh, I got yelled at by somebody. Not sure how long the battery life is, but so far it has not dropped from 100%, so that's pretty good. Oh, actually, what is that? That's a deer. Look at this. This deer doesn't even hear me. Now he does. Look at that deer doesn't even that's how quiet this is I can sneak right up <laughs> uh, that's another reminder though not to go too crazy around here because there are deer but 20 miles per hour and I'm wearing a helmet a Snell rated helmet on a bicycle I might be the only person right now in the world doing that but this is so cool <laughs> this is so cool all right let's go um let's go this way see what's down here now, there are numbers, one, two, three, four, five, and you can adjust them with this plus. The number indicates the amount of pedal assist that is on. It ranges from zero through five. It has no effect on just using the throttle alone, but if you pedal, it will allow you to ride at a noticeably faster top speed. Oh yeah, look at that. It's assisting me while I pedal. That's so cool. And this gives me, I can tell this is assisting. I am whipping right now, 23 miles an hour. <laughs> I might have to close this. It's got a bug in my eye. This is a nice little thing to bring with you if you're going to be a track rider and you want to get around the track and stuff. Just jump on this. Easy to ride. Anybody can use this. Assembly took 20 minutes and my, both my sister and mother have both tried this. They picked it right up on the driveway and they were able to go up and down the driveway no problem with it. So that is so cool that it, anybody can use this and you don't have to be a motorcycle person or anything like that look I can ride with one hand pretty comfortably this is cool <laughs> oh man this is overgrown huh this is overgrown a lot I'm gonna have to check myself for ticks later and you know what's funny is you're still getting exercise you're still pedaling you're still using you know you're still burning calories so that's cool it does get pretty sandy up here, so this would be a good test to see how this thing does in the sand. 
This is a good way to avoid it. Here's some sand. Ooh. <laughs> it's handling the sand pretty good though. Ooh. Just take a break for a minute, show you guys a walk around. We do have disc brakes in the front and rear. Well, disc brake, rear and front. Picking this thing up, moving it around, no issue. This is so cool and it has good suspension in the front. I saw that you can get a, um, a suspension built into the rear seat. And also it has a, a headlight on the front which you can turn on by holding the plus button for two seconds and it turns that right on. And to turn it off, you just hold it for two seconds. So that's cool too. You got a headlight, which is a nice safety feature added as well. All right, we are heading back now. And I noticed if you hold on the gas, it will not pedal assist. So to go the fastest possible, you pedal with the assist turned to five and you don't, and you won't, um, you don't press the thing at all. Here I am doing 26, 27 miles an hour. Now with the assist alone, you can't go that fast. If you're only using this right here, the most you could do is 20 miles an hour and then it cuts it electronically. But if you, and you could adjust the level too. So as you hit the plus and minus buttons, on zero, it's just like a regular bike. Zero, there's no assist at all. You can use this right here to shift just like a normal bike, but for the most part, totally normal. You press this, put this on one, you get a little bit of assist, and it goes all the way up to five. And five has a good amount of assist. And uh, this is actually the second electric bike I've ridden with the assist. This assist is very smooth. There's other ones that's very abrupt. This one is not like that. This one has a very smooth assist. You honestly don't even really notice it helping you. Until you look down and see yourself doing 22 miles an hour and you're like, oh, I can't pedal that fast. <laughs> so let's go down here again. This is so cool. This is my favorite right here, doing things like this. This is nice for the assist because you can just focus on your form and you don't have to focus so much on pedaling. You know, you're just moving through. This is, and it's honestly easier than using a dirt bike. Dirt bikes, you got clutches to worry about, gears, and then all, and then you get, get a little airborne there. Hit some jumps with this, the suspension's pretty good. Woo, not bad, not bad for this little stuff. Whenever you need a break, you can just sit down and just cruise. Wow, I just wish, honestly, I wish I got one of these a long time ago. This is perfect for somewhere where I want to ride dirt bikes, but, and that's another thing too, with gas prices so high, maybe you want to do something a little cheaper than dirt bikes. Wow, look at that right down there. That's pretty steep. I don't know if I can hit that. I'm not going to try. <laughs> this probably doesn't even look that fun to you guys, but I promise you, I'm having a blast right now. I've already gone 10 miles. <laughs> okay. Oh no. <laughs> okay. They have a walk mode. So if you're in a situation like this where you're stuck, get off the bike and you hold the minus button and now it will walk itself up, which is really actually very useful. Just like that. That is a nice use for that. Whew. All right, we're back off. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get a, a like a bike helmet because using my shoey is kind of making me a little nervous. I don't want to whack my head and ruin my 
$1,000 helmet. <laughs> but you guys have to come along for the ride, so it's the only way to do it. Wow, that was fun. That is cool. You got some suspension adjustments right here. Not exactly sure what they are. I'll have to read about them. So anyway, guys, that is the VeloWave Ghost e-bike. This is the silver edition. It comes with a headlight, a slightly upgraded battery. And this thing, even though I'm out of breath, <laughs> that's from wearing the helmet more than anything, honestly. Uh, this thing goes. This thing takes all the work out of riding, really. And it, it's so fun. You can ride it like a dirt bike. And it's easier to ride than a dirt bike. And it's easier to ride as a bicycle than a bicycle. So it's kind of the best of every world. I guess the main issue on it right now would be the price. A lot of people might see $1,500 as a lot of money. But a really nice, good mountain bike will run you six, dollars $700, maybe more. And I mean, that's just a basic entry-level bike. And a dirt bike will cost you three, four, five dollars You're going to have to maintain it and do all that. This bike, you just charge it and worry about the battery. Everything else is just wheels tires and brakes and i looked up brake pads for these are like 20 bucks the weight of this thing is pretty easy as well and look at that all that riding and i use eight 17 percent of my battery and this bike carrier is only rated for 35 pounds but it handles it there we go So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave me a like. If you are interested in ordering one of these bikes for yourself, they will ship it directly to your door. So I'll put a link down in the description below. Use the code HeroRR, you'll save yourself $100 off of this bike. And it helps support my channel, and I would really greatly appreciate that. But honestly guys, no matter what, this is an awesome product. I highly recommend it. Use my code or don't use my code. I still recommend it. I enjoy this thing and I'm going to ride a lot of it. I'm going to have a lot of hours into this thing. I'm going to take it to the canal and I'm going to take it off-road. And I'm going to have a blast this summer with this bike. Thank you VeloWave for allowing me to review your product. I, it is a fantastic product. And this is going to cost me even more money because I'm going to get the rack installed. I'm going to get the front fender installed. I'm going to get the uh, the bag installed for the back. And I'm going to do a couple other things. They have a whole bunch of accessories on the product page. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, links down in the description below and in the comment section of this video. Thank you all. I hope you have a good one. Stay safe out there. And bye-bye. Before we go, I just wanted to show you guys how the headlight works at night. As mentioned earlier, you just press and hold the plus button for one second and the headlight turns right on. Here it is me trying it up and down the driveway. As you can see, it is very bright, it lights up a good amount of area, and it is very noticeable to other drivers. But it isn't blinding, which is good. A very nice safety feature that I am glad I got for it. Also, I wanted to show you guys the suspension setup. It's pretty easy. On the left side, you have the preload. You just turn it to adjust. And on the right side is the dampening settings. So you can just make it stiffer or softer depending on the terrain you are using. It adjusts very quick and easy. Again, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed.